Hey, this is a quick video showing off how to use Read For Me, which is a free text-to-speech software. The way it works is it lets you highlight text, use a keyboard command, for me it's Control alt c to read the text out loud to you. Whenever I have to read something, like a title of a video, or just like an article, or a paper or something, I could just quickly highlight the text, hit a command, and my computer will read it to me. So it's a really convenient software, and it's also free. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description and they'll take you to a SourceForge page. Now the first thing you're going to notice is mine is all blacked out. And that's because I have Dark Reader installed on my Chrome browser. So some of the colors might be off too. Go ahead and hit the download button. Then you're going to want to extract it. I extracted it to my desktop. Alright, you should be seeing a bunch of files, but the only one you want to click on is the read for me one with the R icon. You'll notice that read for me is pretty primitive looking and that's pretty much because it's a free program but it gets the job done. There's a couple other features that honestly I don't even use like convert to mp3 where you could type in text and then it'll convert it into an mp3 for you. Then you could type in text into a box and then it'll speak it for you which I don't see any use for. And then finally the clipboard text to speech. Okay so here you have a bunch of different commands. They let you pause, play, previous, next and they're customizable so you can edit them to whatever you want. Next, if you scroll down to where it says read clipboard hotkeys, you can set different voices to custom hotkeys that you make. Now you can change the rate and volume to each specific voice. I don't really see a point to having different voices, but maybe I guess if you really wanted to, you can. Go ahead and change the hotkeys to whatever you want. I like using control and alt, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then pick your voice. I have a bunch of different voices here and some of them were already installed into my computer. They're free Microsoft voices. Now the one I use is Sally, which I actually paid for. It was about $40, which seems pretty expensive if you've never bought a voice before, but generally they're about that price. You don't need a high quality voice, but honestly it makes things a lot better. So now that I've picked the voice, I'm gonna use Control alt c to read what's in my clipboard. Now the reason I use Control alt C is because control C copies things in your clipboard so that way I'm copying it and also reading it at the same time with control alt C uh what the fuck that moment when you forget to hit apply you can set multiple hotkeys for multiple languages, voices, speech rates, and volumes. Furthermore, the program can convert text files to MP3. New, no, no. Now with language detection option. Language detection detects the language of the copied text and reads it with one of your predefined voices. I am looking for collaborators for this project. So if you have interest to help, mail me. Read for me TTS clipboard. Yeah, that's me playing and pausing what's from the clipboard. And it works pretty fast, actually. And it's pretty responsive. It works almost instantaneously. Now I did come across some problems with this program. Mainly what happened was when highlighting specific characters, sometimes the program would crash. I couldn't replicate this. I tried to use a bunch of weird symbols and all that, but it didn't crash that time. But whenever that happens, you could just click on the icon and then it will boot up again pretty much instantly. I highly recommend this program, especially if you just need some text read to you and you don't need like a voiceover or JAWS. It's a free program. It doesn't take that much of your computer's resources. You can run it in the background perfectly fine and it reads any highlightable text on your computer. So yeah, thanks for watching.